In this short tutorial I'll show you how to create this very popular transition which is quite frequently still requested. So this simple transition can be achieved with a simple effect and that is gradient wipe. Now if we drop this effect here and set the completion to 100, click on the stopwatch and let's go over time to 2 seconds here and set it to 0, you can see that we've got this fade in driven by a gradient. So basically whatever is brighter appears first and then the darker parts of the clip. Now we can also invert this so the darker parts appear first and then the white parts. But the main thing you want to do here is set the softness to something like 50. Maybe for this clip we can set something like 30. And there you've got your transition here which is obviously also a transparent effect. Now a very cool way you can use the same effect is using it for text animations. So let's say I've got this text here that I created in 3D and I want to fade it in. Now usually you'll go into the keyframes here, set the opacity from 0 to 100 and there you've got this fade in. Now this is very simple and clean but there's also a way to make this more interesting. So look at the way the opacity is animated, which is pretty linear and there's nothing really interesting happening here. So if I drop the gradient wipe effect, do the same thing we've done before. So I'll set this from 100 to 0 and up the softness to 50. So basically we've got the brighter parts appear first and then the darker ones come in gradually. So this is a pretty cool way you can animate text as well in case it is not just a blank white text. So thank you for watching, I hope you found this useful and I'll see you in the next.